Hi, today I'm going to show you some important things about the Apple menu in Finder. So when you first get your Mac, um, you probably know how to turn it on. Just click the power button. But if you click the power button again, it doesn't turn off, like in most PCs. It will sleep, usually, or restart, depending on which Mac you have. A way to make sure you know what's going to happen to your Mac is to go over here and in the Apple menu and then click on either sleep, restart, sh shut down, or log out. Those are the four commands that you're probably going to use. Um, they're pretty self explanatory. Log out will log you out of the user and make sure that you can't get into your computer without giving your password, but it's not actually off. Sleep is just, um, your computer isn't active, but it's still ready to go as soon as you open the lid or turn it off. Okay, so, the button about this Mac, it's, I mean, you might not find too much interest in it, but it's really, really important. Um, it gives your processor, your memory, your startup disk, and also it gives you your version but there's a little trick about this if you click on version then it tells you your build number and it also tells you your serial I'm not going to show that to you but if you have problems then you have to tell Apple your serial and instead of flipping over your Mac you can just click that twice which works a lot better um, more info launches you into System Profiler, which tells you even more detailed information about all the items in your computer. Foursquare. This is a really important piece of this menu because it lets you Foursquare applications when they're not working. So for example, Finder, let's say it's not working, I can click Relaunch and it will open again. Screenflow Safari. If I want to force quit it because it's not responding, it it will show in red when the application is not working. And you'll just click force quit, select it, and it will close if your computer is really not working that well. Um, software update. This is where you find all the updates to all your applications. You should probably run this at least once every one or two weeks to make sure your computer is up to date. And it only updates Apple software. It doesn't update all the third party software you have on it. Like if you installed Microsoft Office, it wouldn't update that. So it's really important to use the other applications to update your other software. Mac OS X software. That just opens you into the Apple Downloads page where you can find third party software and also a lots, lots and lots of regular Apple software. Um, the dock. This, the dock is a really important part of Mac OS X because it's how you access your files and your applications as well. Um, turn hiding on, that just removes your dock from sight unless you go down to the bottom and then it'll pop back up. Um, that's really useful if you want all the space you can get. Turning magnification on, that just makes when you roll over the icon it makes it bigger than all the rest. Um, that's just a cool feature that it's purely for looks. Um, position on left so you can have your dock on the left side the right obviously and if you click on dock preferences it'll open up a whole new dialog in system preferences where you can change the size the magnification level um, genie or scale effect that's for minimizing windows and um, other important uh, preferences recent items just shows the recent applications that you've opened lately it's a good way to get to an item that you just accessed. Uh, that's pretty much the whole Apple menu.